subscription spot, we are having a look at the Your Toy Box subscription box for the month of August. Spot loved his Your Toy Box from last month, the month of July, and was super excited to get my next box in the mail. It has finally arrived. We're going to open this up together, you, me, and Billy Makes Three. We're going to find out what we got inside. If you also were astonished and astounded by the things that you found inside when you watched Spot open up his last box and would like to subscribe to Your Toy Box, the link will be down below, down below this video here. Without further ado, let's not waste any longer on time. Let's grab ourselves a knife. Got red. I'm going to cut the tape. And we're going to see what we got in this month's box from Your Toy Box. If you remember last month, let me walk you back. Let's go back in time and... Uh, last month we got ourselves some Lego, we got ourselves a Dick Tracy figure, and we also got ourselves an NES game cartridge. Let's hope we get something similar this month as we open up the flap. Pull the flap back, got some tissue paper, and what do we got going on in here? It's like a treasure trove of delight. First things first, we got ourselves, that is a Mighty Duck. I'm not quite sure the name, I'm going to open this up. Oh, Mighty Ducks figure. Doesn't actually say the name though. I was actually really impressed with Mighty Ducks figures. I actually wanted, truthfully, to pick these up myself. I got one of them. A head uh, rotates, arms rotate. Oh, his hands, his arms, I guess his forearms also rotate, and his legs. A little Mighty Ducks figure. Very sweet. Sweet. Okay, we're gonna put that to the side. And see what else we got in here. It looks like we've got Iceman, Hero Clicks figure. Let's just take him out of the bag here. And how does this attach? This attaches like that. Fonzie Cool, look at that. Kind of reminds me of the old Spider Man is Amazing Friends. That's actually the theme song. Not as done well as the show, but that's my crude impression of it. Little Hero Clicks Iceman. Very nice. Put that to the side. Next, we have a Playmates Star Trek The Next Generation figure. Comes actually even with a card. Telosian. That is from the Cage, the first episode with. Christopher Pike, and I believe also the Menagerie, if I'm not mistaken, where Spock goes on trial. It's basically just a flashback episode. Did you know these were all women? Did you know that? Star Trek fans would know that. Also comes with a display stand, Star Trek. You can take the Telosian and put it on top. There we go. Nice. What else, what else does it come with? I was going to say he. I guess it was a he in the show. Hey, it's Christopher Pike. Also comes with uh, some tools. Very nice. It says, actually, even on there, Star Trek Telosian. And put that to the side as well. Oh, we also got Darth Maul. Open this up. What I love so much about your toy box is that it gives you, it's basically like if you said to yourself, well, I would collect certain things, but on the off chance I go to somebody's house and they got all these cool toys, I would totally get into them. And that's exactly what the benefits of your toy box is. You get stuff, maybe I didn't even know there was a holographic Darth Maul, but I do now. Comes with one lone lightsaber. It's sectioned. It's not the other, the other piece is gone. But it's actually, that's the way it, that's the way it's supposed to be. Comes with also the display stand for Turn of the Jedi. And pick that into place. Place, place, place. There we go. Darth Maul. Again, I didn't even know this, this existed. I knew that the other things existed, but I didn't know this existed. Darth Maul. I love it. Put that to the side. And we also got some Power Rangers the movie, Tengu Warrior, seven card piece puzzle pack, collect all four packs. There's just something about opening up a mystery, it's almost the equivalent of going to like a toy show 
and some guy's got like a tote of toys and he basically says yeah yeah just go through your you know every toy in here is, is like a buck and you're like kind of just rummaging around you're like oh he's got this he's got this that's kind of like the cool thing that you get with, with toy boxes like this so we got puzzle pieces it will I'm sure maybe these actually do yes they do they attach and this I think goes into the top wow I'm making a puzzle just like lickety split these pieces I think go on the side take my word for it Power Rangers the movie Ivan Ooze next we have Pokemon Infernape Infernape this is beyond my scope of Pokemon I'm still way back with Charizard and Venusaur and Squirtle Squirtle this is like far into the future Pokemon this is way beyond my time it does move though it does have head articulation arms legs tail nice and moving along we also have it looks like Skylanders Jet Vac I had a friend whose son was crazy into these. I think you just put them on the a base. It activates a character in the game. Okay. Detail is quite nice. Nice paint. Little bald eagle. That bald eagle is owning it. As they say, owning it with this gun in hand. The gun is not removable. It is all basically a pre-posed piece. That's Triple P. You're correct, Timothy. Thank you for noticing that. Triple P. Pre-posed piece. Triple P. Next, we have Matchbox Sunburner. Oh, imagine if I had a car like that, driving around, cruising the streets in my cool little car. Of course, my car would have to be bigger. There's no way I would be able to fit. I could fit maybe my thumb into that car. Authentically detailed, rugged construction. Sunburner, new color. On the back. Hero clicks. No, that's not it. Iceman. I think it was supposed to be on something else. Probably came off the There we go. Easy, easy peasy. We've got some Motor City stuff going on here as well. Motor City Garage. I, if I had that this car, I could park this into this garage. Of course, the garage would be, be way too small. I don't even know how I would pay these people. They fixed my car, I'd have to pay them in like these little tiny, tiny pieces. I don't even know how I can maintain that in a wallet. My wallet would just be in disarray. So we got ourselves a car. And lastly, a blast from my past. The Adventures of Superman Back from the Dead, issue number 500. No, I don't have x-ray vision. Actually, you can see slightly through it. But this was the issue that marked the big return of Superman right after the Reign of Superman issue run. And it came in this white bag, similarly to the black bag that marked the death of Superman in Superman 75. Still bagged and boarded. I will add this to my comic book collection. And I think that's it. I think that sums it up for this month's box from Your Toy Box. If we could summarize for a brief second, we got ourselves a comic book. We got ourselves a Skylander. We'll put that right in there. Darth Maul, holographic Darth Maul, excuse me, yes, holographic Darth Maul. Got a Pokemon, way out, way out the scope of what I know of Pokemon. A little tiny car that I wish I could drive. It would also require the car to actually have a working motor. Got ourselves the uh, uh, Mighty Ducks, thank you, Mighty Ducks. Bigger, put that in there. Telosian, from Star Trek, classic Trek. Put that in there as well. Complete with card. And finally, we got Hero Clicks Iceman. <laughs> if you guys would like to have all of this delivered to your house every single month, you can click the link down below and subscribe to Your Toy Box. Today's subscription spot, we're having a look at Your Toy Box for the month of August. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.